Hey guys, and welcome back. We went on a long vacation, and now we are back with more news from the gym world. The biggest piece of news being that Sydney Barrows has left Texas Dreams and is now training at World Champion Center. She was under Texas Dreams gym for this year's Winter Cup and the March training camp and just last week posted a photo of herself at WCC. There has not been any information released on why she has decided to leave Texas Dreams. Although, as we know, Kim Zemeskol, her husband Chris Burdett, and some of the coaches at Texas Dreams have been under fire for a laundry list of serious allegations, some of which we've covered on this channel. But for now, it appears that she has left on good terms. She'll be training right along with Simone Biles, Olivia Greaves, Jordan Childs, and other talented and rising athletes. For Texas Dreams, this leaves Emma Malibuyo as their current star, and she is supposed to be starting at UCLA in the fall. And we hope that she can have a healthy, fun, and successful college career. The Olympics are just four months away. Simone Biles, of course, takes one spot on the team. Jade Carey already qualifies, so she'll be going at least with an individual spot. The competition is so thick, I'm not sure how it will work out for most of our comeback girls. We have Simone and Jade, so barring injury, Michaela doesn't have a place on the team. Chelsea Memel has the skills that would give her a high D score, but have we seen her compete full routines? I don't watch her regularly, so I'm not sure, but I haven't seen full routines or any test competitions from her, so I can't really say whether she stands a good chance or not. And Lori hasn't really exhibited the difficulty needed to compete for a spot. At the Winter Cup, she only competed floor and beam and was in 5th and 13th place, respectively. Um, so I'm hoping she'll wow us with some upgrades soon, because if not, I can't really see her place on the team either. And given the pandemic and the lockdowns, I wonder how good of a chance the new seniors have of making the team as well, although many of them are quite exceptional. But due to the pandemic, they haven't had as much international competition experience as some of the more seasoned girls with strong all-around skills. And I think that given the shutdown, inconsistency is a major risk for the upcoming Olympics. I think Suni Lee has the highest chance of making the Olympic team. She has a crazy bar set. She has strong all-around skills and she has the world experience. Morgan Hurd also has the world experience. Morgan Hurd also has the international experience. Although her 2019 season was a little shaky, I think she has the experience and of course she's my favorite. So I do hope to see her on the Olympic team. I think Riley McCusker also has a decent chance of making the team along with Grace McCallum, Kara Eaker, and Leanne Wong. Although they've been a little inconsistent Consistent. I think they've had time to rest and especially Leanne, some of the upgrades she's been training have been amazing. So I think that would be my list of girls I think have a pretty good chance of making the team. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below what your dream team is. So that is all for the news and we will see you in the next video. Until next time.